Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news the Dow and the FTSE 100 were down again overnight. This is all about fears of a double dip recession in the global economy, particularly the US economy, where we got fresh news that factory output was slower also slower output from factories in Europe and China. Jobless claims in the US were up to 472,000 and people are worried ahead of tonight's key figures on jobs data from the US. Now the New Zealand dollar fell, at least initially, to 68 US cents on this news. Remember it tends to move in tandem with the US stock market, but there was a slight change towards the end of the evening. The New Zealand dollar bounced back up towards 69 US cents. That's because the US dollar in particular overnight was very weak, again on these economic fears about the US economy. Also the Euro had a bit of a bounce. The European Central Bank's deadline for refunding its banks passed without too much drama and the Spanish government was able to sell some bonds. Meanwhile in Australia it looks like the new Prime Minister Julia Gillard is about to announce a softening of the mining tax put forward by her predecessor Kevin Rudd. It looks like the threshold for super profits is going to be raised from the bond rate of 6% to up to 13%. That means miners can make bigger profits without being hit with the super profits tax. There will also be extra depreciation allowances for miners and the iron ore and coal sectors looks like they're going to be exempted. So a softening there of the mining tax in Australia. Good news for mining stocks. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 98.9 brought to you in association with the BNZ.